Greetings Wargamers and welcome to another video, another magnetization tutorial of sorts. This time it's about the Imperial Guard Hellhound slash Devil Dog slash Bane Wolf kit. Three options <coughs> that you can get out of one box, so um, you might want to magnetize them to be flexible enough. And I have to say this is an easy kit to magnetize. <coughs> Two parts have to be magnetized here. The hull weapon and the turret weapon. We start with a turret turret weapon. Now if you if you own one of these, you probably know it. If you don't own one, um, I'll tell you. The three weapon pieces for the uh, Turret weapon all have a small plastic peg here. Uh, I just I simply glued a small magnet, a square magnet, uh, on the back side, which basically had the same um, thickness or oh, measurement. So, um, and the hole in here, the hole goes deeper than the um, actual peg is. I don't know. I believe the peg is about probably about this far in now, the hole, the hole inside it goes about here. So this makes it even easier. You don't have to carve the, the barrel here out in order to fit the magnet. And you, you actually need to fill it up until it connects with the other magnet. So how do we do this? Well, I put some, probably can't see that, modeling putty in there. Not real, real green stuff, real putty, which is more fluid, which was a bad idea because it's took a long time to dry, so just take enough um, green stuff until it has about, until, until it filled up um, the barrel to the right spot. You glue your magnets um, on these three pieces, again, make sure they all have the same polarity facing in the right direction. While these are setting, you work on this Take another, once at least one is finished and really sitting tight, take another magnet and simply put it on the back here. Put some super glue on the back of this magnet and then squeeze it into the um, green stuff slowly. Like, like this uh, until it sits tight. Don't wiggle around because then it will create spaces in the green stuff and the magnet won't sit properly. Just squeeze it in until it sits straight and then leave that to set at least 24 hours. Remember green stuff needs to harden too. Uh, this is pro t closed, well not exactly tightly but there's not really air coming in so the, the green stuff uh, t needs more time to dry and uh, harden out so put us somewhere and uh, really leave that set for at least a day. Um, next day you can take it out and hopefully the green stuff uh, and the super glue are finished so the magnet stays in. And I might, this was my first magnet project even this is before the Space Marine Sergeant so I made, you can't see it here, I made quite a mess with the modeling putty in there but uh, in the end it gets the job done, it works, all three variants there you go now this was the turret weapon. Let's check what we can do with a hull weapon. Those of you who have ever built a camera know there's actually a hole here. Not anymore because I filled it up with plastic as you can see, but there's a hole and we need to f we need to fill that because otherwise the main can't sit there. So what did I do? Simply Assemble the um, chassis, but leave this side, these tracks, leave them off. You can use use the upper part of the hole, do it together with the lower. Uh, finish this side, put it on, but we need to we need to access it from the inside here. So glue these two track pieces together, but leave them off. For now. And then you simply take your screw and um, cut off. Is here <coughs> from a problem, preferably from a part where there are no such dots here. 
and cut off two pieces, which have about, let's see, this length here, from here to here. You want some space, not uh, just on the side, to glue on from the back side, but also at the top and at the bottom. So make it a bit larger, but make it don't make it too long because the hull with these uh, folds here uh, it might not fit in. Just cut two out and um, check if they fit. Why two? Well, if you have a look here, you see a line right here. One piece of sprue is simply not, not wide enough to fill the whole thing. So we cut off two, and then you need them to, uh, to glue. Then you need to glue them together in a certain way. Let me show it. Oops. Because the sprues are not actually square, they are trapezoid. Might be hard to show it here. Well, you might see they are not square. They look like this, and then have you know what it carpets is. So that means if you want to glue them together, you will notice there's a gap. That's hard to show you at the, at the top here. You want to glue them together, so you need to turn one around 180 degrees to glue them on straight. See? So simply take a piece of paper, which you should cover your working desk, desk with anyway, uh, put a nice amount of plastic glue between them and then put them together and let them set for a while. And once oh. this is... once uh, I might actually do that here to show you. Give me a second. I'll stop the video. Ta -da. So, uh, once this is done and you have a little plastic piece, put some um, plastic glue around here on each side, a nice amount, and um, basically slot it in from the inside here and press it against the hole. Make sure it sits nice and straight uh, on all four sides. You want, you want as much surface for the plastic glue to connect to the actual hull as possible because next step we're going to drill a hole in here so we're going to exert pressure and you don't want to press that off again especially once you close that up and um, this tumbles into the inside so I would recommend leaving this part off until we, the whole thing is finished here but again plastic glue around put it on the inside and Press it against for about a minute. Again, we want it to sit tight. And, well, and once this is properly set, leave it. Well, I don't know. I'm a I'm a cautious person, so again, I left that for about an, a day. Probably not needed. Super plastic glue sets quite fast, but one or two hours probably won't hurt. All right. And then. Same thing as with the um, Space Marine, you take something with a point, pointed edge, you need to check, uh, okay, okay, check first where you want to um, actually place your magnet inside here. It's dependent on these things. Have a look at your three weapon options. Okay, and you will notice that um, Two of them are hollow, well not anymore, but the, uh, what is it, the multi melter and the heavy flamer, they are hollow inside right here, while the, um, sorry, or open, it's called open, but the heavy bolter is, has a closed, fully enclosed plastic bag, which is still hollow, of course. So we want to place the magnets at the same at the same level of course uh, on, on each three so when you're deciding where to drill the hole here don't put the magnet in too much up uh, on the top because then you will have trouble fitting one in here to do it about just have a look here not exactly in the middle I would suggest putting a bit it a bit more down uh, once you figure that out take your knife and make a small 
small, sorry, small hole as a guide guidance hole for your one millimeter drill. Use this one to drill the hole through. Again, you need to be careful um, not to deviate. You want a straight, straight drill, and then of course use your big drill, which has the same or about the same size as the magnet that you're putting in, and carefully, carefully carve out enough. You don't need to drill through because if you drill, drill through the plastic, which isn't thick, you know, um, this makes it harder for the magnet to sit, and you need to make the hole really tight and use a lot of, or use some good super glue. I managed to carve out just enough um, for the magnet, which is pretty thin, I believe one millimeter or something, to sit in here without drilling through the plastic. So once you got this, use some super glue. Oops, didn't glue that on yet. Use some super glue and put the, the magnet in there and leave that set for now. And while this is setting, take your take these three these three fill the tool up here with the um, well, green stuff, modeling putty, whatever and set the magnet in keep the right polarity in mind you gotta check that first what I would suggest you for doing this is um, the way I do it give me a second let's say this will be just as an example These are not the right magnets, they're too large, but just uh, as an example, take your row of magnets and place them somewhere, place them on the table. And whenever you work, make, make sure, always keep your vehicle facing in the same direction. This might sound weird now, but let's say you want to glue in this magnet first. So you simply take one magnet from here and you glue it in like this with the side so as soon as you get around to gluing these magnets in you take one magnet but glue it on with this side sorry you, you know what I mean this way you automatically have the right uh, facing the right polarity but it's important uh, when you work on the vehicle always make it face in the same direction because if you happen to place it like this and then you want, oh, wait a minute, I need to glue this magnet on like this. It's not going to work, well, it works now, but you get the idea. Alright? That way, this, is, this might be the easiest way to keep the right polarity in mind. So, um, yeah. Again, check the polarity, and then... Put some squeeze them in the uh, modeling putty, in the green stuff, whatever. Make sure it's a straight and flush fit. Use, I don't know, something I usually stroke, sorry, I can't see that, across the surface to make them with a non-magnetic um, tool, of course. Use, use a piece of plastic sprue again, just make sure that the magnet sits in there straight and flush and not uh, at an angle. Do it for both of these pieces, the multi melter and the heavy flamer. And um, the heavy bolter is actually a bit easier. You drill a hole in here, same way, drill it in, in the hull here. And uh, don't drill exactly through. If you do, you might have to uh, fill that up uh, with modeling putty too. And um, well, make sure it sits in there nice and straight, flush, whatever. and. Um, then you should have no problem once they are all once the glue has set and properly not a problem so now we have three hull weapon options available as well as three turret weapon options you get you get the the most most out of your kit instead of just one version that you have to assemble so, um, really, I would say magnetizing, especially vehicles. Characters like the Space Marine Sergeant is more fiddly, uh, but vehicles with all their 
with the, with the huge amount of options that they usually have, um, I would definitely recommend um, magnetizing them. And again, this is an easy kit. Wait until I someday buy the Shadow Sword and make all six weapon options available through magnetization. Oh man, I don't want to think about that. But it's gonna happen one day in the far future. But for now, this is a little vehicle tutorial for the Imperial Guard Hellhound, Devil Dog, Bane, whatever, and um, yeah, see ya until next time.